I have the window open because it's fabulous outside, but that's going to be annoying, isn't it? <sighs> Depriving myself of fresh air for you. Today... Hold up. Hello. Hi. It is Amanda. Welcome back if you are not new. And if you are new, hello. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the new collection from Moonshine Manny. This will be available on October 8th and it is inspired by the Mistborn series of fantasy novels. There are five polishes in this collection and then an add-on polish which you will receive for free if you purchase the full collection within the first 48 hours of the collection's release. Lester is in here scratching himself. You can also purchase the add-on polish on its own if you so desire. So, this will be available October 8th, and then I also have the next project, Dupe It Polish, to talk about. So let's get to the swatches. The first polish is called Good Men Don't Need to Become Legends. And this is an olive green glowing with gold shimmer and packed with gold flakies and red to copper iridescent shimmer. This polish is inspired by Eland. Eland? Eland? I don't know. Um, this one covers in three coats. It's very shimmery. The red to copper shimmer is lovely. Um, it has a really nice formula. And this looks great, shiny or mattified. Mattified. Oh, bless you with the sneezes. Oh, bless you. Oh my goodness. She's acting so weird lately. What was I saying? This is three coats of good men don't need to become legends. The next polish is called I've Made a Promise, and this is a rainbow flaky topper packed with multi-chrome, iridescent, and holographic flakies. It can also be built up and worn on its own. This polish is inspired by Waxillium. And on its own, this does need three coats to become opaque. That's not surprising at all since it's a topper. It looks beautiful on its own. It also looks lovely as a topper. I wore one coat of this over Warley's snow cone, but of course you can wear this over so many different things. Um, but I chose to put it over a blue, and that's three coats of I've Made a Promise. The next polish is called I Ain't Never Died While Wearing That Hat. And this is a squishy plum raisin glowing with iridescent, aqua, sapphire, violet shimmer, and flakies. This polish is inspired by Wayne. This one also covers in three coats. I love the um, the violet shimmer flakies against the like plum base. I think, I think that's a really striking color combination. It's very beautiful. This looks great, mattified, surprising to no one, I'm sure. And that is three coats of I Ain't Never Died While Wearing That Hat. Next polish is called So Full of Logic and Yet So Full of Wonder. Uh, this is, oh shoot. This is a Marigold to Violet Solar Crelly. Packed with iridescent flakies, shifting green to gold and pink gold green shimmer. This polish is inspired by Steris. The thing is, um, I swatch it at night, so <laughs> I didn't realize that this is a Solar Crelly. I will do a swatch of it and then put it in the sun. <laughs> but I haven't done that at the at time of filming. I thought I was done and I didn't do my homework, but this one also covers the three coats. I think this is a really bright, I mean, it is a marigold color. It's a lovely color and it has a three coat formula. So that is so full of logic I mean, it's so full of wonder. The next polish is called We Mistborn, it Need Not Make Sense, and this is a magical multi-chrome shifting teal blue violet and an extra oomph of twinkle from purple blue teal iridescent shimmer. This polish is inspired by Vin. I did three coats, but I think that two coats would be sufficient. I just wanted to see if the color would get any darker on the third coat, and it got a little bit darker but not anything that would be like, you have to do the third coat. I think two would be fine for this. It's super shifty. Um, and there are little like iridescent flakies in here that are shifty and beautiful as well. So that is three coats of We Missed Born Need Not Make Sense.
The add-on polish is called What Is It You Believe, and this is a white gold linear holographic packed with an ultra glowy gold to copper shimmer. This polish is inspired by Saze. This one also needs three coats. The white gold is super fun, but it's a lighter color, so it's pretty typical to need the third coat for that. With the gold copper shimmer, it's really, really fun. Very, I mean, it just looks magical. So that's three coats of What Is It You Believe. As I mentioned, this collection will be available October 8th at 9 a.m. PST on the Unchimiani website. If you purchase the full collection, you will receive What Is It You Believe for free between October 8th through October 10th. If you purchase the full collection within that, that time frame, you'll automatically get that polish for free. No need to add it to the cart. Also released in October 8th is the next Project Dubit polish, which is actually a duo. So this is the Freddie Mercury duo, and it is $20 for both polishes and they will be available individually for $12 each, and they are not limited edition. So Don't Stop Me Now is the first polish, and this is inspired by Essie and Mercury On from the Mercury and Retrograde Duo. This is an indigo jelly packed with two different sizes of ultra glowy shimmer, shifting violet, sapphire, aqua. This one covers in three coats, and it's super shifty and super beautiful. The next one is called Somebody to Love, and this is inspired by the Essie Keep Calm from the Mercury and Retrograde Duo. This is a topper, um, but there are two different sizes of ultra glowy shimmer shifting between violet, sapphire, and aqua. So this will look great over so many, so many things. I swatched it over the Don't Stop Me Now polish just to like amp up that base color, but you know, it's, it's impossible to show a topper over as many things as you can put it over because it's just impossible. So this will go over so many things and it will be a lovely shifty topper and that is somebody to love. All of these polishes will be available October 8th on the Moon Chai Mania website. Have you guys read Mistborn? I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard of it. I like the, the inspirations from the book so that's fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you in my next video.